So maybe a friend recently invited you to get some Thai food, but you've never had it and you don't know what to get. Maybe you got a little anxiety about it. This video will help you figure out some Thai dishes to try that are so good. And this is just a small depiction of all the amazing Thai food that's out there. And we're at my favorite place to get Thai food here in South Florida, uh, Larb Thai Asan here in Fort Lauderdale. So if you live in the area, this is absolutely worth checking out. It's still my favorite place for Thai food. So with that little intro out of the way, let's see. So you can kind of break up Thai food into like three or four main categories. And like many other Asian countries, you got the fried rice dishes, you got the noodle dishes, but what makes Thai food super unique and that much better is the uh, curries. You got red curry, green curry, masaman panang, khao soy, and they're just the best. The curries are what make probably Thai food the one of the best, maybe top three Asian cuisines for sure. So to start, if you want to drink with your meal, a good one to try is Thai tea. And it's a uh, sweet drink. Chris almost said it was like, the first taste kind of has like chocolate to it. There's no chocolate in it, but it's amazing. And if you want a good drink to have with your meal, that we'll get into. And if you want a good appetizer for when you go to get Thai food, one of the common ones that you've probably seen and maybe have had fried spring rolls. The spring rolls are basically fried, lightly fried rolls with vegetables inside. And it usually comes with a dipping sauce. That's a must when you have these and they're so good. And these are not spicy. Thai food can be super spicy. This is one of the few things that is not, doesn't have any spice at all. And when you go to a Thai restaurant, I would say most of the time they make it to order. So if you want it as spicy as humanly possible that you can handle, you can get it. If you don't want any spice, you can get it that way too. Now something that can be super spicy, but it's also a great addition to your meal is papaya salad. If you know a little bit about Thai food, this is probably one of the more signature things to have in Thai food too. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a, a salad with shredded papaya with garlic, lime on it, has peanuts, um, carrot, tomato, and it can be as spicy as you want it or no spice at all. We got it medium, we like a little spice, and it's delicious. The idea of having like a salad with shredded papaya, other veggies, lime, squeezed lime on it, peanuts, and I think sometimes they even put like shrimp paste in it. Sounds like in theory, like that doesn't make any sense. Like why would anybody do that? Until you have it and then you're like, oh, okay, this works. It, and it's amazing. But the main one, the staple I would say, is papaya salad, we're trying. So like I said in the beginning, you kind of break up Thai food into like three or four main categories. And one of the ones that you need to try is curry. Specifically, probably my favorite is red curry. But with, with all the curries, the main base is basically curry paste and coconut milk. And with each one, the curry paste is made slightly different. So for example, uh, red curry, all of them are made with vegetables, but I think if I remember right, red curry is made with more chilies, which gives it that red color, as compared to green curry or yellow curry. And red curry is probably the, probably one of the spicier ones. And again, most restaurants you go to, it's made to order. So if you want no spice, you can have it no spice. If you want it spicy as hell, you can get it that way too. So you got the curry paste, the coconut milk, and then it's always made with a bunch of vegetables, like red curries with bell pepper, uh, green bean, basil leaf, bamboo shoot, and then you could choose your choice of protein. So, uh, chicken, pork, tofu, shrimp. I've even seen some places do duck. But when you try this for the first time, it's so creamy and slightly sweet and spicy and it's just so many different flavors and textures that you just, it's the best Thai dish. For me, I mean, I love all of it, but if I had to pick one to have every time, it's curry. Any of them, they're all great. And when you get curry, you're gonna get uh, served with a side of rice and you gotta put that rice in the curry and eat it all together like that. It's amazing. And the other, or one of the other main categories is noodles. And I think if I had to pick my favorite, it's the Pad Ki Mao, AKA the Drunken Noodles, which is a spicy stir fried flat noodle with veggies, including basil, bell pepper, mushroom, tomato. And again, you can get it with your choice of protein from shrimp, tofu, pork. I think I would also say that 
Thai noodle dishes, the ones that use like the flat noodle, are the best of any Asian country too. And again, the, the combination of the, the flavors and the textures from the crunchy bell peppers and then the soft and chewy flat noodles with your shrimp in there too. Oh, it is the freaking best. Some of the other popular uh, noodle dishes, Thai noodle dishes, you probably have heard of Pad Thai, which is really good. Um, pad Siu, which is similar, more similar to this because it uses the flat noodles too. Uh, pad Woon San is great, and Bami Pumu Dang. And also, if you're enjoying the video so far and you want me to do another video with other Thai dishes that you may want to try, give the video a like and let me know. So you got your drink, you got your appetizer, you got your entree. Now you need to have some dessert. And you cannot get Thai food without getting mango sticky rice. It is the greatest thing ever. If you love mango, you're gonna love this. It's sticky rice flavored with sweet coconut milk and served with fresh mango. And the coconut milk is usually warmed up a little bit. And it's so, so good. And you gotta make sure to combine the sticky rice, the mango, and then drizzle some coconut milk on top. And you'll be so glad you did. It's the best, I can't say that enough. And if you're watching this and have never had mango sticky rice, I'm kind of jealous because you get to experience it for the first time and I'm really happy for you. <laughs> so hopefully now you should have a good idea of what to try when you go out to get Thai food for the first time. If the video helped you out at all and you wanna see another video with other Thai dishes, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.